In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the sort n function in Google Sheets. What the sort n function does is it allows you to sort a data set, but only return a certain number of items from the data set according to the number that you place within the parameters of the function. So if you want to sort this data set, for example, and maybe you only want to return the top five items that have the most sales, you can do that with the sort n function because it sorts the data and then returns a certain number of items depending on how many items you want to return. So this function is not very well known. Many users don't really use this, but it's useful because it essentially does the work of what multiple other functions would do in one because you can sort and then only return a certain number of items. So I'm going to show you how to use this function. But first, before we do that, let's go over the syntax. So this seems more complicated than it is. But after I go through the syntax and explain each argument and then show you how to use it, you will see that it is actually a pretty easy function to use. So this is the first argument. This is the range. So this is going to be the data that you want sorted and only n number of items returned from. So this is basically your original data set from which you are going to sort. Now n is an optional argument and it's going to be set to 1 by default. This is where you put the number of items that you want returned from your sorted range. So it has to be greater than 0. And basically this is just where you put how many items do you want returned. So if you want just 5 items, the top 5 items, you would put 5. If you want the lowest 5 items, you would also put 5. If you want 3 items, put 3. So it's just a number of how many items you want returned from your sorted range. Now the next argument is called display ties mode. This is an optional argument and is, it is going to be set to zero by default. And what this does is it controls how ties are sorted in your data. So if you're trying to return the top five items, but the fifth and sixth item are the same exact value, how are, is this tie dealt with? That is what this argument controls. And you can put a 0, 1, 2, or 3 here. So 0 is just going to show the first n rows in the sorted range at most. 1 will show the first n rows and any additional rows that are identical to the nth row. So this will show rows that tie the last row. 2 will show the first nth rows and remove duplicates, and three will show the first nth rows and show duplicates of these rows. So that is what displays ties mode does, is it basically just controls how ties are dealt with. And so these are the options you have and what each option does. So the next argument is another optional argument and this is the index of the column in a range or a range outside the range that contains, contains the values that you want to sort by. So this is basically what do you want to sort by from your original range. And so it has to be a single column that is the same exact size as range. The next argument is is ascending one and this is also an optional argument and this controls how the data is going to be sorted so your options here are true or false true is going to sort it in ascending order and false will sort it in descending order and then you have some additional optional arguments if you want to sort by second third fourth columns etc and so you would put in the next column you want to sort by and the next um, way you want to sort, whether you want to sort by ascending or descending order. And so you can continue to place these additional sort columns and sort rules here. So again, like I was saying, the syntax seems kind of complex, but when I show you in an example now how to actually use it, you will see that it is pretty simple. So what I am going to do in this example where I have the sales data for various products 
in each department is I'm going to use the sort and function to sort this by most sales to least sales. So we're gonna do descending order, but I only wanna return the top five values. So I will do that here. So equals sort n. So the first argument is the range. So I'm sorting this entire data range. So the next argument is n. So this is how many items do I wanna return from this sorted range. I wanna return five items. The next argument controls how we deal with ties. I'm just going to show five rows whether there's ties or not. So I'm going to set it to zero. And then what you want to do now is put in the range that you want to sort by. So I'm going to sort by sales. So I'm going to put in this column. And then the last argument that I'm using in this example controls how we're sorting. So remember, I wanna have the top five sales. So we're gonna do descending order, which is false. And then I add my closing parentheses, press enter. And you can see now it returned the top five items with sales sorted in descending order. Now, if you wanna return four items, you can see now it reduced to four. If you want to return three items, now it reduced to three. If you want to sort from smallest to lowest, we would do ascending order. So I changed this last one to true. And you can see it sorted like that. So again, I'm going to go through each argument again. So the first argument is my data range. Second argument, how many items from this range do I want to return? next argument just controls how we're dealing with ties so if you have multiple items with the same sales and you want all of them to return instead of cutting off at three you would have to change to the appropriate displays tied mode number ties mode number excuse me that will do that so the next argument is the range we're sorting by I'm sorting by sales and then this is descending or ascending order. And then again, optionally, if you want to continue to sort your data by additional ranges, you would continue to put that here, but that is optional. I'm not doing that in this example. So that is the sort n function. It's useful because it's basically like combining multiple functions in a single function. If you were to do this, if you were to try to sort this data and then pull out the top three items, that would be multiple, multiple steps normally. But as you can see with this function, I just did it all in one simple process. Uh, so it is a pretty useful function once you take the time to learn it. As always, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.